voting over, the ballot box opened. An election official shows observers and party representatives there's nothing to hide. At this voting station, turnout was close to 80 percent. Twelve hours earlier, many voters came directly from dawn prayers at the mosque to cast their ballots. Supporters of the militant Islamic group Hamas. Well organized, many eager to cast a protest vote against the ruling mainstream Fatah faction. Waiting to vote, these women were keen to see Fatah cut down to size. Fatah hasn't done anything for us, for our children, she says. Fatah only helps itself, complains another. We want to see what Hamas can do for us. Some had to raise their veils to prove their identity. While outside the polling stations, campaign workers, green for Hamas, yellow for Fatah, stand ready to make one last pitch. Everywhere green flag. Naila Ayesh and her husband Jamal are worried about the message Hamas is sending to Palestinians. Uh, the things that they told the woman, they told the woman, if you not vote to Hamas list, it means that at the end God will uh, punish you. Naila was the only woman at this voting station in the Shati refugee camp who didn't wear a headscarf. She and her husband cast their ballots for the Third Way, a secular, pro-reform, anti-corruption party. The days when Fatah called the shots, Jamal believes, are over. I think Fatah will not be the only ruling party. Monopoling of the political system is finished. What system takes its place is still unclear, but an important basic consensus does seem to be emerging. Despite differences in political opinions, most Palestinians did have an opportunity with this vote to show they do agree on one thing, the importance of the ballot. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Gaza City.